Nationals visiting the Marlins. Ross Detweiler making his third start of the year. He has just one win in his last 13 road starts, but his last road win came against the Marlins August of 2012. Bottom of the second, Nats up 2-0, and Detweiler gets Ricky Nolasco to end the inning. Then in the third, Justin Ruggiano with a man on second, grounds out to Ian Desmond to end the inning, and the threat. Top of the fifth, Nats still up 2-0. Kurt Suzuki trying to increase the lead. He steps into the batter's box against Ricky Nolasco. Payoff pitch. Suzuki, long drive. Left field, Juan Pierre. And he can only watch it. The Nats lead, 3-0. Suzuki, second of the year. Marlins working to get themselves back in the game in the bottom half of the inning. Two outs and a man on second. Donovan Solano drives one into right field. Jason Worth fields it and comes up firing. Chris Baleka is hustling around. It's a close play at the plate. He slides around Kurt Suzuki's tag to get the first run of the game for the Marlins. Davey Johnson not happy about the call. He comes out to argue, but to no avail. So it's 3-1 Washington. And that's all the Marlins would get in the inning. Next batter, Placido Polanco grounds out to second to end the threat. Top six, the Nats get the run back in a hurry. Adam LaRoche at the dish. Base hit LaRoche. Textbook hitting to the opposite side. And the Nats have their three-run lead back. That made it 4-1 Washington. Bryce Harper scoring on the play. Washington goes on to win 6-1. Bryce Harper shining in his return to the lineup after missing Tuesday night's game with flu-like symptoms. He goes 4-5 for five with an RBI and a run scored. Ross Detweiler goes seven innings pitched, seven hits, one earned run, no walks. He gets the win, tying his season high with five strikeouts.